so I decided to give Borderlands 3 a try. I know, I know, not the best timing. I've heard about the movie and I've seen the reviews. Uh, not the best publicity for the IP for sure. And I've also seen some mixed opinions about the game. But hear me out. I've been playing Warframe for years now and it's the game that introduced me to looter shooters. But I'm on vacation and I wanted to try something new within the genre. Something that's not the first Descendant or Destiny 2. To find out this potential alternative that can consume some of my otherwise uneventful days, I decided to go on the deepest, darkest part of the internet for advice. Reddit. And scrolling through countless conversations, messages like these kept popping up. The father of looter shooters. The looter shooter itself. So I said, why not? I heard Borderlands 4 is coming out next year and I might as well be prepared, so I made the purchase. Well, obviously not from here. Okay, much better now. And this is how my new adventure began. From the get-go I can say that I'm a fan of the art style. It's not the overly realistic stuff you get pushed down your throat nowadays. The introduction clip with all the characters was really well done. I actually got a feel of the game just by watching that. It looks fun and gritty and the playable characters seem to have some personality as well, which is always appreciated. I went for Zane here because, well, I want to be a cool guy, but this is a decision I got to regret soon after when I discovered I have two skill trees to work on while my friend only had a dog in his custody. But we move on and start with the tutorial. I can say I'm not really sure what the story is about as of right now, but I like the dialogues and Claptrap is putting on a show for me. If only he wasn't so slow, but I quickly got the pacing of the game and the next thing I know I'm messing around with the gunplay. Now this is amazing, the combat feels so clean, the guns have interesting designs and it actually feels engaging. It gave me the impression that I could actually die. The enemies do little tumbles and they can be pretty aggressive. It's worth mentioning that I'm playing on normal and I hope there will be increased difficulty in the future, but this is good enough for now. So I keep pushing through this fort and save the princess at the end who makes sure to explain to me that he is actually the main character here and then introduces me to my commander in charge, Lily. This is when things actually pick up a bit and I'm being thrown into the game. With the main quest on the screen and a clear goal to achieve, I decide to do what any seasoned player would do in my position. And that is getting sidetracked and exploring the map, of course. To my surprise, everything is pretty alive. I'm constantly being attacked wherever I go and it took me a while to understand that maybe I shouldn't fight every enemy that comes my way. So I focus up a bit and help Claptrap get his new antenna, defeat some bosses and participate in the big suck. Now, this was a very disappointing quest because, let's just say, there was no big suck and all I did was collect cacti. I'm pretty sure this is misleading advertising, but I let it slide because not long after I meet this wonderful lady who let me see a glimpse of the true American experience and gave me a car. This was a big thing for me because I didn't expect to drive in this game and I also noticed that I need the car to be able to get to certain places so it's quite important. The best thing about this is it literally feels like I'm in Mad Max. The whole scenery and the car and the way I'm being chased, it's like a slice of the movie. It's very cool playing this for the first time and it's very unique. The only issue I had so far was boss difficulty. They have really nice introductions but they aren't very hard to defeat. It's too early to tell anyway but they aren't doing much. On the bright side, the story starts to pick up after I meet this white haired chick and her brother. Things are starting to happen, they beat Lilith to a pope and now I slowly get an idea of what's going on. I'm trying to get the key back so I can become the greatest thief alive and I need to take down your favorite influencers. Don't forget to like, follow and obey. I mean, it's either that or I'm just following Ellie on her mating journey. Gonna teach them city boys some things they only see in nature documentaries. I don't know. It could be either one, but I'm definitely going to find out as we take off with this ship and go on to god knows where. So far, this seems like a really good game. I can't tell if the story will be good throughout, but it's a very interesting premise. The execution could have been a bit better at times, but I don't get the hate just yet. Also, this is a very different experience to what I'm used to. If this is a looter shooter, then it's very different from the first Descendant for example. I still don't know how the progress will carry into the endgame. It feels like I'm locked into my character and I can't really tell what the endgame could look like. 
All I know is that this is much better than I thought and I intend to see where it goes. This is it for now guys, I will make a continuation for this because we need to get to the bottom of it and I'm actually excited. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and want to walk with me through this experience and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.